Saturday night, Estevan got a good little dumping of snow. And so Sunday morning before we went to church, Sarah and I decided we should go outside and clean things up a little bit. And so she took one shovel and headed to the backyard and I took the other and went to the front yard. When I went through the gate, I stopped and looked at our front yard, all covered in that beautiful blanket of white snow. And I just stopped and looked and thought, man, that looks just so nice. But then I looked a little bit closer. Over here on the side, there were a bunch of tracks where a rabbit had been bouncing through the yard. Over here, there were more tracks where a bird had been digging in the snow, trying to get down to the grass again, for who knows what a reason, looking for seeds or whatever. And the snow was all kicked around. You could see where these birds had hopped around on the front of your lawn. A little further over, you could see some deer tracks even. And it made me think, that rabbit, those birds, and the deer are likely in our front yard almost every night. But until the snow came, I had no evidence of them being there. They would come at night, they would go away, and I would have no idea. I just didn't see it. But because of the snow, then I recognized that they had been there. Sometimes I live my life that way too. I, I am surrounded by blessings. I've, uh, the blessings are always there. I sometimes just don't see them. Kind of like the deer and the rabbit and whatever that come through my yard all the time. They're there. I just don't always recognize it. And, and my goal over the next little while is to slow down and see what's actually there. Because the fact of the matter is God's blessing is always nearby. I just sometimes don't see it well enough. That reminds me of a prayer that the old uh, priests of the Jewish people would, would say to them. In fact, it was, a, it was a blessing and a prayer that God told them to say. God gave them this prayer. And he gave them this prayer not so that they would be blessed, but rather so that they would see their blessings. The, the little prayer goes like this from Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. It says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. My prayer for myself in the next little while and my prayer for you is that we would see the Lord's blessings that we would realize that his face is shining on us and that he's gracious and that we would find his peace. The fact of the matter is those things are always there. The question is, are we seeing them? If you like this video, please subscribe and share it with others. Have a great week.